Hi, welcome to Suvai's Kitchen. One of the most popular street food is Mumbai's Vada Pav. And if you're getting Mumbai Pav at your doorstep, what else can you ask for? So we've got Suvai's Pav, which is really the Mumbai style Pav. For this, we need three chutneys, a garlic chutney, the mint coriander chutney, and the sweet tamarind chutney. Tamarind chutney and coriander chutney, we all are very familiar with. So I'm going to make the garlic chutney, for which we'll just take a little bit of oil. I've got some thinly sliced garlic cloves. I'll saute these for a bit. I'm going to add some coriander seeds, some cumin seeds, sesame seeds, some peanuts, fenugreek or methi seeds, some dry coconut, desiccated coconut. The desiccated coconut goes in last because this browns very fast. The flame should be medium to low. Now all the seeds are nicely roasted. I'll switch off the flame and add some chili powder, some turmeric powder, hing, Amchur powder. And I'll also add in a little bit of salt. Everything is mixed well. I'm going to cool this down and we blend it into a coarse powder. So this is how we blend it with garlic chutney and this is how it is. A coarse powder. We have got some boiled diced potatoes. I'm going to heat up some oil. As the oil is getting heated up, I'll throw in some mustard seeds, some cumin seeds, some asafoetida or hing, chopped green chilies. I've got some chopped curry leaves. Potatoes which are boiled, peeled and diced small. I'll add these. Salt. Red chilli powder, turmeric powder. Mix this all well. We'll wait for the potatoes to cool to move on to the next step. So once the potatoes are cooled down, it's nice to have them rolled and kept ready. So here they are. And I'm going to mix the batter, for which I've got basin, gram flour here. I'll put in some salt, a little bit of red chilli powder. Usually, uh, you add baking powder, soda bicarb, and stuff like that to make them light and fluffy. I'm going to add soda water. So if you don't have soda water, you can use baking powder. We'll dip each one of these. Vadas are nicely fried, just nicely browned. So now, time to assemble. We've got our Suvai's Mumbai Pao here. Soft light and fluffy pows. Cut these into half. Butter. And warm it up on a griddle or a pan. Time to assemble our vada pav. So this Garlic chutney is a bit dry. Either you put in a few spoons of water, but what I like to do is, I'll mix in this imli chutney. So we've got the chutneys here. So I'm going to smear one of these on one side. And coriander chutney on the other side. One vada and 
here we have our vada pav. So our Subai Mumbai vada pav is ready. It's a great evening snack for tea time or chai. Try it at home and we'll be back with some more Subai recipes. Once Subai, always Subai. See you soon.